an economy without movements in a regime of exchange of hands. The government increases its spending and finances the growth by imposing taxes, what is called delta G equals delta T balanced budget. What happens to us in the first stage, when the government performs the physical gesture, it affects the product market. In the product market we have greater demand. When demand increases for the product the pilot curve shifts to the right the pilot curve shifts to the right you try the curve to the right too is one when this curve shifts to the right when this curve shifts to the right we move in the immediate stage to a greater level of output to Y1. When the product increases at this point we call it B when the product increases the output increases because it was positively dependent on the output. When the output increases the demand for voltage increases. That the demand for voltage increases so here in the voltage market that has normal demand and supply curves. The demand for voltage will increase because we now have a desire to consume more voltage. So that's why we need more than the demand for voltage. And what will happen in the immediate phase will be a depreciation in the exchange rate. A depreciation in the exchange rate again affects output in the way that production affects it. That is, the depreciation has now caused an increase in production. The increase in production will be reflected again in a shift to the right of the IS curve. A shift to the right of the IS curve to ISIS2. And, at the same time, the curve that production is equal to output, that production is equal to output, is also shifted to the right, because we have both an increase in design and an increase in output, that is, that it has a greater weight here at this point, so we get a level of output here at point C, let's call it point C, a higher level of output, with a higher interest rate in the money market. An increase in output will lead to an increase in the demand for money, so we will have a shift to the right of the curve to and a higher interest rate in the money market. We will now see this diagram using letters. So we have this situation. The situation described in the first stage, the government increases G. By increasing T, this causes aggregate demand to decrease, and the curve shifts to the right, and output increases. This is the first stage. In the tension market, an increase in output. Will lead to an increase in the demand for tension. It increases. So we have Y increasing, followed by A. Depreciation in the exchange rate, and again we now move to the output market. An increase in the exchange rate will lead to an increase in production. An increase in the exchange rate will lead to a shift to the right of the curve, and again output will increase and will also. Move to the right. Dot. Equilibrium at a higher level. That is, we have an equilibrium of exports less imports at a higher level. The final result of all this happening, which we characterize through the sources and uses statement and through the capital account statement. So what happens to us in terms of GDP is that in the end, GDP in the economy increases, CG increases because we started from what we had, we had an increase in government spending, I, we saw, is small because the rest of the interest rate increases, and the question is what happens to C, C, does C increase or does C decrease? On the one hand, C increases because Y increases, so disposable income increases. On the other hand, C decreases because taxes increased and this reduces disposable income, so we will soon solve this dilemma. What we do know is that exports are less than imports, both increased, 
but we are still equal to zero because we are in equilibrium. Let's examine what happens within the capital account to the other variables, and from this we will deduce what happens to C. We know that investment in the economy is small because interest rates increased. We know that SG remains constant. We also know that SB has not changed because we did not have data on SB. What must reduce savings is SB. That is, disposable income. So disposable income must decrease. If disposable income is small, that means C must also decrease. So through the generation of capital indicators, we learn that private consumption in the economy is small and what happens to savings for the general S and national savings is also small, meaning the final result I is small S is small C is small Y is poor exchange rate. So these are the results, our correct results. Output will increase, the exchange rate will depreciate, the interest rate will rise, private consumption will decrease, investments will decrease and government savings will not change, national savings are small and personal savings will decrease. These are the correct results. M.